You are never going to guess what I just did. Well, if you watched my previous videos about my voxel engine, you already know I always break everything. So in this video, I totally didn't break anything again. Yeah, okay, I did, but trust me, the result is worth it. So one of the biggest problems I have with my voxel engine right now is that it is very low resolution. Each voxel is very big and that gives it a very blocky look. And it also means that if I want to add more details to something, like little grass pieces coming out of the ground, I simply cannot do that. An easy fix for this is using an oak tree. I actually tried making one before but I failed. This time I want to actually make one correctly and use that to have higher resolution and a level of detail system, which allows for things further away from the camera to be lower resolution and become higher resolution when you get close to them. An oak tree is a tree of nodes with up to 8 children each. That means that the node at the top is very big and then it has up to 8 children that are smaller and then smaller and smaller and if you keep doing that eventually you have nodes the size of my voxels. The cool thing is that you can keep going after that and make them even smaller but you don't have to apply that size to all of the nodes like I did before. You can have a big node, and a smaller node next to it, and then an even smaller node next to it. This means that some areas can be high resolution, like close to the player, to make grass. And some other parts can be lower resolution, like further away from the camera, to improve the performance. This means I'll have to redo the entire world using the oak tree. But don't worry, if I ever get tired of coding the tree, I can just... leave. <laughs> Wow, what a terrific audience. I started by generating the big nodes as the player moves around and it looked pretty good. By sticking them next to each other, I already have a dirt floor generating. I can make the dirt higher and higher resolution, but eventually it starts lagging. That can be improved by not rendering all sides of each voxel, but only the top side. However, even with that, it still lags quite a lot. So it's time to do what I made this octree for, a level of detail system. I made the voxels that are generating far away from the player generate at a lower resolution and this instantly fixed all of the lag. But you might notice that they don't update their resolution as you move around. <laughs> Whoops, that's kind of the entire point. Good job, Max. I also had a very funny bug while making this that somehow created fractals in the ground. Anyway, a world is not only dirt, so after adding different voxels, I need to average them out when reducing resolution. So if a group of 8 voxels is reduced to one bigger one, that big voxel will be the texture that is most present inside it. That looks kinda weird, but with a real world, it should be okay. After a bit of work, the LOD system was pretty good. There are some holes in the ground on high resolution, but surely that will not cause any problems later. Anyway, now it's time to make the LOD update as you move around. And now to test it out? Hmm... It's not updating. Also, it's getting kinda laggy, let me check the performance. What?! It's using almost 20 gigabytes of RAM?! Well, we have a memory leak. GG. Oh no... So I fixed that and the LOD seems to update as I move around. It looks pretty cool. So now I just have to add height to make a landscape and we are done, right? Yeah, right. That would be way too easy. The good news is that the LOD system is working. The bad news is that nothing else is. It took a lot of work to fix it, but I ended up doing it and I got the landscape to work with a resolution that decreases when you move away and increases when you move closer. That means that the overall resolution can be higher for the closer parts, and even if the resolution is higher, it will not lag because the parts that are further away will not take as much juice because they're lower resolution. This also means that I can add grass! Hell yeah, little grass pieces taken from the ground, that looks pretty cool. When you move far away, the grass becomes only a texture, so it's not as heavy. And uh, I wouldn't say you won't notice it, but uh, it's not that bad. 
Now I can move around my world with grass and it looks decent. But the landscape is still the same resolution as before. And by that I mean a whole mountain is only like 50 voxels wide. That's bad. So I bumped that up and the landscape looks a lot smoother. It did seem to increase the loading time a little bit, but uh, don't worry about that, it's a problem for future me. And uh, I hate that guy. I then started re-implementing all of the things that I had before to now work with the new world system, such as projectiles colliding with the world. Thankfully, one of the best things about an Octree, and another reason why I wanted it, is that it allows you to traverse it pretty fast. Before, with my chunk system, I had to look at all of the chunks to find the right one, and then all of the voxels inside to find the right one, when I was checking for collisions. But now with the tree, I can simply go down the tree and find the exact node I want in a few simple checks. Using that, I was able to detect collisions for my fireballs and asteroids easily, but sadly, they don't do destruction anymore. Oh no! Destruction with an octree is also pretty simple. You just have to go down every node within the radius of the destruction and remove them. So after adding that and my structure generator back, I had some cool alien bases and I can destroy them. I had to increase the resolution of the bases too, and with the LOD system, it's pretty cool because when you go further away, you can still see them even though they're not as high resolution. I also made the destruction be a bit higher resolution than the basic landscape, so the holes you dig look quite a bit cooler. I wish I could increase it more, but sadly I can't because even just this, it's a little bit laggy sometimes when doing destruction. However, the reason isn't really the octree or the LOD system itself, but rather turning that octree into a mesh to render it. Right now I turned my tree into a mesh to render that, but that means I have to traverse the whole tree and save all of that to a mesh, which kind of ruins the point of using the tree, which is mainly to get only the parts that you need. So how can we render the world without traversing the whole tree and rendering it as a mesh? Well, to be honest, I'm not quite sure. <laughs> I think there are a few options, but I know ray tracing is one of them, and my idol Sebastian has made a video about that, and it looked like a huge pain to do, and like something I would cry while coding, so... You know that's what I'm gonna do. Hell yeah, the harder it is, the more fun it is. Uh, no, that's not what I mean. I mean, coding a ray tracer will be hard because I'll have to pretty much create a whole 3D renderer in a shader, but hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. That sounds like a fun challenge to me, so stay tuned.